Hi guys, so welcome to this new video and in this one I am going to show you something I discovered recently. It was during December, I think. I saw a post on one of the Facebook groups that I follow and it was about lemon notebooks and many people were saying they were perfect for bullet journaling, that they were nice notebooks. And um, so I went on Amazon dot F -R -R, and well of course the French version and I checked for them and they were offering a discount so it seems that most of the time these notebooks are discounted so uh, I bought one to start with and then since I really like what I saw and that was this one I ordered um, a few others as you can see and uh, I'm going to show you that notebook because that is an interesting one. I mean, y you should see the pile of shitty notebooks that I do not show on my channel. I have plenty of these. Uh, sometimes, and most of the time, these are notebooks that look good, that give you a nice design feel, and then the paper inside is just perfect, absolute crap. So, this one is not crap. It's an actually very nice notebook. Its main feature being its thick paper. It's a 125 meter um, GSM uh, notebook, so that's particular. It's interesting for uh, different reasons, and I will come back to this in the rest of the video. So, um, I do not remember the name of the different notebooks, but I do not think that they have a specific name. I think that one is uh, presented as a sketchbook, but I think most of them are, except this one is introduced as a journal. So let's have a look through uh, all of them, and from uh, what I remember well, I bought, I bought a second one like this, because I like the um, um, uh, color of this one, and then I bought another uh, sketch one, just because this one uh, was meant for my son. So let's start with, well, let's start with the journal, the black journal. So one of the characteristics is that they put the uh, pen, well, the kind of pen loop, which is very tight, but which I'm not planning on using, so it doesn't really matter, on the, uh, on the side, on this side, and not on the other one, which I think is not actually stupid. I think I would tend to use it uh, just with a very very small pen because it's very very tight. Um, the cover is a kind, some kind of lever, it's a bit like what you find on Moleskine, it's a hard cover but it's actually a bit plushy. Right, so it's, as you can see, you've got a nice little details, it's actually nice quality, it's well finished and it does look and feel like leather, frankly. So you've got a, an elastic band that is not too tight, so it doesn't show on the notebook or at the top. It's not going to dent, but it's actually um, a bit loose, so maybe it's not going to be pretty useful after a while uh, um, when you use it. So, so this one is dedicated to my readings, but... <laughs> I didn't write in it for quite some time. As you can see, uh, the paper inside the first cover is a rather strong ivory color. It's not a like creamy, it's really um, ivory, but it's a strong one, almost yellow. And there's a thick cardboard which is thicker than the rest. Then the notebook is a ruled notebook. So I have trouble on, um, checking the fact that it's either 125 GSM or 120 because um, on the Amazon website it says both. So I don't know, but basically it's a thick paper. As you can hear from the noise it makes, it's 192 pages and it's an A5 size and I did write down uh, what it was for you in English, which is 8.5 inches by 5.7. And basically it's lined, it's a grey, uh, it's not dotted, but it's not a strong line either. And it's a grey colour on a paper that is uh, definitely ivory. I'm going to take a white book next to show you the difference in colour. So the book is white, the cover of the book. And 
it stays flat mostly but the paper in the center in the middle especially it does tend to bulge a bit so uh, here you can see it's there's some kind of bulging right so it does stay relatively flat which is nice and it's also uh, what they uh, put forward in there on the web page all right and at the end you've got your little um, yeah okay there was something inside as well your little pocket so uh, you receive it so they say join super user club so definitely as yes, just because it's a Chinese notebook and they have this kind of policy for selling in Europe right by the way I was not sent this notebook I did buy all of these notebooks and you've got a 30 days money back guarantee if you're not satisfied which is kind of nice but I think you would be surprised by the quality relative to the price it's actually a uh, rather nice and you get these to uh, put on the side of your notebook so you can find your own section so you can put six sections inside so that is definitely for journaling you've got your page mark I like the fact that it is a thick notebook and it works fine with a fountain pen now uh, you've got a very very light feathering effect but it's very discreet works well but not with your most demanding inks does not now if you yet like to use fountain pens and you like uh, a regular fountain pen and nothing special then it will work absolutely fine and there is no uh, no show through because the paper is so thick basically so um, probably I wouldn't say that the paper is amazing it is not it doesn't have the buttery feel or the smooth feel of a Rhodia for example uh, but the thickness gives it interesting qualities so here 192 pages so it's a thick and heavy notebook now let's move on to this one with its nice uh, orange leathery color again it's a leveret it doesn't feel as leathery as this one so you will see it looks more like a cheaper leveret but the color is nice and it looks good it does look extremely nice the side is gray again you've got that very tight very tight stuff here and here you can see that potentially if you put a pen there it might destroy the leveret but it I thought it was not that solid. I've been using it for a while and it is kind of solid. All right. So again, you've got that loose uh, elastic band. So basically the characteristics are close. So you've got a link to their website, a thick cardboard and then that thick uh, paper. And I did a lot more tests on this one, as you will see. Um, so I started writing with my regular papermate Enjoy because that's the one I've used. I use uh, everywhere to jot down stuff, and I thought the quality was rather surprising and it was comfortable to write. It's not buttery smooth, but it is smooth to write. Okay, so it's got a durable hot cover. It lays flat. It has that system of binding. It's the way you bind your notebooks, really, and it's relatively flat. But again. Uh, it bulges in the middle and it does that with all their notebooks so it's not as flat as some can be but it's nice okay so you get 180 pages in this one a thick art resistant paper that's what they say art resistant paper <laughs> of course I checked 125 GSM um, it's um, better for mixed media let me say that from the start. I paid less than 9 euros on this. It is usually uh, 19, but they always get you always get discounts. So uh, my advice would be never buy at the uh, price of 19 or uh, that would be around $20 for you, I think. Just wait for a discount. You've got plenty of these. It is discounted uh, right now as I'm speaking. Okay, so I tested it with the uh, Jinhao inked with diamine. 
Uh, I can't remember which one it is, but it worked fine. So, uh, as I said for the other one, it's possible with regular fountain pens, uh, but it's a bit diff more difficult for um, other ones. All right, so here's a test with my Pilot Priora O'Donnell. And there is a bit of feathering if you stay too long at one place. So as you can see, it's not absolutely perfect. Now, if you like your inks to be drunk rather fast, and you do not mind a bit of feathering, as you can see on that O, um, then it does give a kind of texture to your inks, like they tend to... Um, it will show where you stayed for a bit longer, but it is feathering. So, um, that wouldn't be the right choice for fountain pen lovers, I believe. Alright, so these are notes that I took. What else did I do in this one? Counted... Yeah, okay. So, this is it. It's perfect for its art-resistant paper. Well, well, well. <laughs> um, might not be that resistant. Uh, it would be perfect for sketching using a, a regular pencil. Uh, except that it, it is very smooth, so it lacks a bit of tooth for a pencil. It would be absolutely perfect for uh, sketching with a micron pen, that type of thing, that type of very uh, soft marker. Um, also, it would be nice for markers if you can forget about that side. Like if you draw only on the right side and then you uh, leave the other page or and use a protection under your page, then markers will be fine. But they will not mix properly because the paper drinks the water and liquids very fast. So that was a quick sketch I did with my watercolors. And as you can see, um, there's no way you can mix watercolors with this because it drinks, it absorbs the uh, the liquid too fast. But you can get nice result if what you want is only do uh, sketching a little and then adding a bit of coloring. Then it, that is perfect. Right on the other side, I tried something that required more mixing, then it was really a fail again on my little fox that really is not nice. And the paper is really blotchy then at the end. And it becomes cracking. It makes a cracking noise. Okay. So, um, I tested uh, this for with everything I could put my hand on, like my Papermate Inkjoy, a Sharpie. So, as you can see, the Sharpie doesn't go through that much. It goes through everything, so it doesn't uh, go through that much. I tested it with a pencil, which was a Palomino Blackwing, and it was kind of nice. It was not perfect, but it was nice, so you can use a pencil on this. I tried my Stabilo Capi uh, highlighter, perfect, absolutely nothing on the other side. I tried the Micron, it was perfect. I tried the Neo Color 2 from Carnal Dash to see if I could put the color with this first and then add some water and it was nice as well. Uh, the colors, um, I could pick up the colors and the pigments fairly well. And then I used a Winston marker, uh, Winston and Newton, sorry, Pro marker. And as you see, there was a bit of, sh there was some kind of show through and, and even bleed through at the two ends. Right, and then I finally did that like little sketch. But the issue again here is that um, the mixing of colors looks very artificial. It's like you put one and then another on top and then another at the end. It's just not that nice, but it's not actually that bad either. So uh, definitely that type of notebook, which is blank with ivory color. Again, same color as the other one, as you can see, as an ivory color. Uh, is your friend with almost everything and perfect with nothing really, but it's a kind of polyvalent notebook, so I really enjoyed it. I like the thickness of the paper, it does allow me to put water on it, but um, I didn't actually protect the other side. So as you can see, there was almost no bleed through to the other side, except here, where the paper is definitely a bit more toothy, so showing it has been watered. But apart from that, I didn't protect the other side. So, um, uh, it would be perfect for very simple sketching.
definitely and for journaling and bullet journaling and you've got a line version if I remember well but I am not that sure and the page mark is grey and then again at the end you've got a pocket pocket and then again at the end you've got the guarantee card and then the little uh, page marks that you can use to identify your different sections in the notebook. What I like particularly in this one again is the thickness of the paper, the lay flight by flat binding, and the overall quality of that thing for the price you pay and then the fact that I can use it for sketching and uh, that's the kind of notebook you do not pay much for so definitely you will just sketch in it without many without a lot of remorse. <laughs> failure and attempting to do stuff. Now let's move on to the last one and that is this one which is a soft cover. It's uh, not a, well, it's a kind of levered in the sense that they wanted to do nubak, so it feels in, it feels like nubak to the touch. But you can see it's actually synthetic since it is burnt on the side to do that border finish and it is plastic. That one is meant as a sketchbook for my son and I bought one for myself as well because again I like the thickness. As you see it is stitched and I did not expect it but it does lay flat and it doesn't bulge like the other one so it does lay flat when you want to draw and it's kind of nice. So uh, this one wasn't used I just put a word for my son and so there's his name on it, so I'm going to cover it with this. So as you can see, the first uh, page, which is cardboard, is just glued to the uh, levered cover, and it says, Dream Tree Simple and Elegant. Which is true, it is simple and elegant, I like that. So you've got no, uh, yeah, you've got a brown page mark, but you have no pocket at the end. It's just the, the end of this one. Uh, this one has a liquidation price now at the time. It is around 5.99 euros or something like that, which is, for that price, I mean, the quality is very nice. And so it's the same paper exactly, the same one you uh, you find here, and in all their notebooks, you can get dotted versions, you can get ruled versions, you can get blank versions, not for this one, but for the other ones, but all across their range, the paper is just the same thick paper. So again, soft cover. Uh, so they say it's archival paper quality. I cannot vouch for that. They say it resists feathering and show through and it's acid free. So as I uh, showed you in my test, it does resist feathering a bit, but not that much. Uh, and it's this kind of nice uh, with show through just because the paper is so thick, basically. But it's nice and that would not be nice for my son to practice his sketching. Right, and uh, when you receive it, so that's the ones I haven't opened when you receive this. Uh, this is the same as this one, so you receive it in that uh, box, and then you can see through that hole uh, which one it is. And then uh, this one is this one, as you can see through the hole. Right, and I suppose you, saw, you almost saw me through... Uh, yeah, there's a reflection. I might change that or get rid of that part, I don't know. Like, I want my videos to focus on what I'm showing you and not more. <laughs> but, okay, uh, I don't mind that much. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.